This is the place where, let me remove the mask. Um, this is the place where my mom got the accident. That is back 2012. And you know, it is a sad story. I don't usually like narrating it, but you know the sad part of this story is that I've never gotten a chance um, to go and witness the send off of my mother. You know, my mom died. We were not told where the where she was in the mortuary. We were not told when was the burial. But funny enough, we were ne we never got the pictures during our burial, and so we never attended the burial. So to some extent, some years back, I used to feel like it was a fake death. Until later, I went to where she was buried. Yeah, back to their mom because their family refused my mom to be buried where my dad used to be. Because, as you know, most African culture is that a wife is is buried where the husband is. So they refused that because they thought that, that they would be paid uh, with insurance. So this is the place where my mom got the accident, and it was in 2012. I was 11 years. Now I'm 23. That means it is 12 years later. Yeah, 12 years later, this is the time I'm coming to see this place. Yeah, I had seen it before, like two years ago, but I said, like, one day I must come to this place because uh, you know, I'm the first boy in our family, and I don't want to make the matter so look like it's a big issue. Yeah, losing a parent is not uh, something easy, I know that. But uh, since I never, bar I never went to my mom's burial, I felt like me coming here and doing maybe something different or something small according to our culture would bring a difference. And that's what I've come to do in, in short, you know. I don't know how it will appear to other people who are not from my culture. Yeah. This is not about African culture, it's about a culture in our tribe, yeah? And so, that's what I've come to do today, in the memory of my mom. Because uh, I had said I would do this in 10 years, but when the 10 years was over, I was not able to do such a thing. But now that it is past 10 years, 
it's good how we should celebrate it and uh, yeah so in our culture we usually we don't have flowers we usually have milk because we feel like if a family member gets accident on the road it means because you see the road is outside and it's very hot yeah so it's like uh, we are bringing them either tea or milk for them to stop being dusty yeah so we usually pour the milk on the road so that's what like, I feel like I will do. Yeah, that's my mom. Wherever she is, I think you should rest in peace. Because uh, I'm doing this in your memory. You are my mother and that's the truth and nothing would change and forever a man nothing will ever change i believe wherever you are you can hear me and if there's anything you can do about me please do but I'm, I'm i'm assuring you that everything is going on well and i'm trying my best as a as your first kid i'm trying to make you proud and uh, I've started seeing that it is possible, it's going to happen, yeah? So, that's it for my mother. I just know I love you and rest in peace till we meet again. <laughs>